at the beginning of the show i already put up the copyright disclaimer under the section of 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting teaching scholarship and research fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use pa right so even though i did it at the beginning i'm just doing it again because i'm getting ready to show this video all right. And I'm using this video under the Fair Use Act. So here we have the brother, Aerie Spears, finally addressing these allegations. Now, once again, the backstory is Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish did this pedoph uh, pedophilia PSA. They said it was, but they said it was supposed to be comedy. And they saying that uh, there was no malicious intent in doing this and there was no wrongdoing, blah, 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 blah. I'm paraphrasing. He's going to speak for itself. Us, we know that there's a lawsuit out there from the young lady that was a part of this uh, PSA, uh, who was 14 at the time, who is now 22, and there's her brother who's a part of the lawsuit, who's the seven year old boy that y'all saw in the video, who is now 14, 15 years old. So a lot of us saw this PSA, we did not agree with it. Some people felt like, oh, it was funny, it was just, jokes you know some of us it was like we don't see the joke in it that you see but okay just because these two are comedians if you want to say it's a joke it's a joke all right cool but moving on right let's see what the good brother uh avery spears had to say in defense of himself he's not speaking for tiffany he's speaking for himself okay and he may use some language that I may not agree with. So if you have children in the room, please escort them now. Now. Thank you. And I will put the copyright disclaimer up at the top. Now, let's see what the good brother has to say. Uh, you know who it is. Um, listen, um, obviously for legal reasons, I'm not even to. I'm not able to uh, it, 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 divulge. Is that the right word? Address. No, you're supposed to divulge. Well, I was trying to find a more suitable word, but uh, I really can't uh, talk about anything at this time. Uh, but I just more or less want to say to all the loyal listeners. All my fans, very few friends that I have and supporters, uh, got a call from my brother, uh, Shabazz OG, who we remember. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I could name all the, I wish I could remember all the names, but, you know, Shamor, Kulsh, uh, Sergio Sosa, CC, Ash A, Farah A, B, um, Ram Futch, Junebug Spade. Y'all know who y'all are, Leroy Ethereus. Um, thank you guys for your support and for your love. Uh, I will certainly, uh, remember you and make sure you all get invites to the all white yacht party, uh, with the bevy of bitches that I keep talking about. Um, listen, this is, a, this is an extortion case. Uh, this is a shakedown. Uh, and I didn't need my lawyer to tell me this, to say this, but you know, I'm going to echo her words. We won't be shaken down. Um, and believe me, it's bothering me not to talk about uh, the skit. Because um, Annie and I have been talking about it. 
And there's some very valid things I feel like I have to say or want to say, uh, but just can't at this time. Um, and I'm no coward. Uh, I'm not running from anything and I'm not guilty of anything. It's the reason why I won't turn my mentions off on my um, Instagram. It's the reason why, you know, um, you know, I'm not deleting any of my old posts. Um, you know, and I would love to address it head on. Tony Montana, Scarface, balcony scene, shooting a thousand Colombians. Uh, but I can't, I, j I just can't. And it's paining me to do so because I'm a fighter. I'm not a runner. Uh, and uh, my character's being assassinated. Um, again, I, I, I want to address the skit especially, uh, but I just can't. I will say this though, to the loyal listeners, if you remember back when uh, that, that Arnold Schwarzenegger skit that we did, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the system fucker. Get back. Yeah. System. Try to fuck back. You guys didn't know it at the time and I couldn't say it at the time, but that's what this is about. That's what this is about. It's a shakedown and extortion. And I would just say this. I want to say thank you to the very lovely lady. I won't say her name. Uh, but there was a woman who hit me up on Instagram and she wrote me, Hey Aries, if you need my help regarding the, and she also mentions the person's name who's trying to shake us down as much as I want to expose that bitch. I won't say her name either. Uh, but she goes, if you need my help regarding the blank situation, have your legal team reach out to me. I've known this person for over 35 years. They're a huge scammer. I can prove it to you. Uh, here's my number. I will be able to assist you. And I will say this, if you, you can even dig up the history yourself, but this person has a history of these false accusations, uh, saying that they've been raped. They even once blamed the whole entire San Bernardino police department for allegedly, uh, fondling her and her children at the same time in the same house. Pitch it at an entire fucking police department. Come on, man. And what's killing me is, you know, all the people hit me up. At no point does a little bit of, you know, common sense or red flags or any, you just, whatever, man. People are just running with this. And it didn't help with the Lizzo thing. So uh, I'm having a bad week. Uh, but it be what it be. So again, thank you to the people that support, love, standing by me. I love y'all back. Uh, now let's have a podcast. Now, how many of y'all are buying what he's selling? If you buying what he's selling, type in yes. And if you're buying what he's selling, if you're not buying what he's selling, type no, and I'll put your responses on the screen. All right? Yes, if you're buying what he's saying, what he's saying makes sense to you. No, if not. In search of, that was funny. Bigger BX, he's a joke. Like, hey, he looks creepy. I wouldn't trust him with <laughs> Come here, Fifi. Come here. Get away from that creepy man. <laughs> it's BS. Something happened that part. Is Mr. Duck Dynasty supposed to save him? I don't know. He was quacking. He wasn't saying much. <laughs> Only people hit him up is those kids that are now dose as they should be because they were taken advantage of on camera. And Sergio said, to a certain degree, okay. Okay, here we go. Z says, no. Me and Piffany, no. Tyrone, no. No. 
It's the major delay in bringing allegations in this late day and age that can make the accuser look a tad like, uh, and I'm no AS fan by any stretch of the imagination. So you saying that it's the delay in bringing up these allegations. Okay. We'll touch on that. He rubbed baby oil on the little boy's back, had his legs spread, got in the tub with him. How is that a scam? I'm with Corey. Tamika says no. Darrell says no. Kanika says no. Stop playing says no. No. F no. No way, Jose. No. I think they both for the blame. No. No. Hell no. If he has a previous accusation against him, I'm not buying it. No. F out of here. No. Hell no. I I don't think uh, too many people. Now, let me give y'all my... Um, my perspective on it and let me do it this way i'll address it this way just in case he's looking and they'll say yo i didn't say that see you know uh, what's up, y'all? Uh, you know who it is. Um, listen, uh, obviously for legal reasons, I'm not even to. I'm not able to uh, it, it, it divulge. Is that the right word? Yeah, I was trying to find a more suitable word, but uh, I really can't uh, talk about anything at this time. Uh, but I just more or less want to say to all the loyal listeners. First of all, I want to say, as y'all can see, going back to the Benzino thing, two men can be in a hotel room together. Clearly, these niggas is in the hotel room doing the podcast. So if somebody, they came walking out of there and they say, yo, what these two niggas doing in the coming out of the hotel room? As clear as you can see, two men could be in the hotel room doing things other than sexual things. Let me move on. all my fans very few friends that i have and supporters uh got a call from my uh, with the bevy of bitches that i keep talking about um listen this is a, this is an extortion case uh this is a shakedown uh and i didn't need my lawyer to tell me this to say this but you know i'm gonna echo her words we won't be shaken down First thing to address is if he was being extorted or he felt that it was extortion, whenever they made any request for him that seemed to be extortion, where is his police report that he could say that he filed that this person was trying to extort him? Or is he going to say, oh, nigga, I was keeping a gangster. I wasn't going to snitch. They was trying to extort me. If that's the case, then brother, you should have went and told and the peoples that they was trying to extort you. Because if you don't have no paper trail of extortion, why should we believe you? Not saying that you ain't telling the truth, but why should we believe you? Let's move on. Um, and believe me, it's bothering me not to talk about uh the skit um because annie and i've been talking about it and there's some very valid things i feel like i have to say or want to say uh but just can't at this time um and i'm no coward uh i'm not running from anything and i'm not guilty of anything it's the reason why i won't turn my mentions off on my um instagram it's the reason why you know 
Um, you know, I'm not deleting any of my old posts. Um, you know, and I would love to address it head on. Tony Montana, Scarface, balcony scene, shooting a thousand Colombians. See, you made you made the, the white boy a little nervous right there when you said that. He had to look away. The white boy like, oh, no, you don't, nigga. You're going to have that nigga walk up behind your ass, going to be choked, no joke, walking up behind you. You want to hey, hey, go ahead and deal with this. Uh, come on. Tony Montana style. Shooting a thousand Colombians. Go ahead, nigga, because I'm so soft. I'm going to walk. Why are you up there? You motherfucker, you want to face of me? You want to cock out there? I'm going to walk up right behind you and put that shotgun to the back of your back. And it's the end of the movie, goddammit. Blue! Your ass is going right, goddamn, into that goddamn uh, fountain at the bottom, nigga. You want to hand in hand this Columbia style, Tony Montana? You want some of me? You want some of me? Come on! You want some of me, Avery Smith? You want some of me? Okay. Here comes Sosa. You ready, Avery? Here comes Sosa. You want to handle this head on, Tony? Tony, I told you, Tony. Don't fuck me, Tony. Don't fuck me, Tony. I told you, Tony. Oh, yeah, yeah, you think you can talk this, Avery? Oh, you think you can talk this? I told you, you little monkey. You little monkey, Avery. Aries. You little monkey, Aries. I told you, don't you fuck me, Lick. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Here comes Choke with the shotgun in the shades, brother. Listen to what you just said. You want to deal with this on Montana style? Okay. I just can't at this time. Um, and I'm no coward. Uh, I'm not running from anything and I'm not guilty of anything. It's the reason why I won't turn my mentions off on my um, Instagram. It's the reason why, you know, um, you know, I'm not deleting any of my old posts. Um, you know, and I would love to address it head on. Tony Montana, Scarface, balcony scene, shooting a thousand Colombians. Uh, but I can't. I, j I just can't. And it's paining me to do so because I'm a fighter. I'm not a runner. Uh, and uh, my character's being assassinated. Um, again, I, I, I want to address the skit especially, uh, but I just can't. I will say this, though, to the loyal listeners. If you remember back when uh, that, that Arnold Schwarzenegger skit that we did, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the system fucker. Get back. Yeah. System. You guys didn't know it at the time and I couldn't say it at the time, but that's what this is about. That's what this is about. It's a shakedown and extortion. And I would just say this. I want to say thank you to the very lovely lady. That's enough for that. That's enough for that, right? The shotgun blast to your back, Aries Spears, is you did a soft porn, soft child pornography skit with an underage child. Now, you're talking about you were doing a PSA about pedophilia you being doing a comedian doing the PSA about pedophilia would have been hey I'm Ari Spears you may know me for mad TV and I joke a lot a whole lot I've done all kind of jokes but one thing that I don't find funny is adults messing with children. Pedophilia is real. So if you don't know a person, please don't leave your children around them. Be a great person in judgment. Something to that effect, Aries Spares. 
and boom. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a great PSA. You put in your PP in that little boy face is not a shakedown. You sitting there lusting over this little boy doing the skit. Y'all thought this out. Y'all shot it. Y'all edited it. Y'all did several takes. Y'all did a production around it. People are not going to believe the fact that you may feel that it's a shakedown because you have paid money before to the mo the mother, according to uh, news reports, that y'all had a settlement in 2019, and now they come in again. That is the part where you may be saying it is an extortion plot. But a Aries Spears, I don't know why I keep jacking your name up. Aries, you have to take accountability for your actions when the boy was seven years old and didn't understand what pedophilia was to today being 15 and understanding what pedophilia is. You think at seven years old, when y'all did this with him, he understood what was going on to consent to that? So when people are like myself, my thing with you is if they may be, somebody might be trying to extort you, but I think you're overlooking the fact that although y'all were acting, you still did the actual acts. It's no different from in the movie when a woman kiss a man. They still kissing. There's a kiss. Even though you rubbed baby or you on this kid, you touched him. You had the boy touch you. It's tangible. It's real. Which may be creepy to the kid today. He might think of you and, and like can get the heebie-jeebies like, Ugh, I rubbed the baby or you on this nigga. Like, I think that you are... You and Tiffany, for this matter, are not looking at the, the, it was just a bad ass joke. It was just a bad ass joke. And this is what we are saying to you. Yeah, we don't know if the mother agreed to it or whatever with this and the third. What we are saying is, as Tiffany Haddish, as Airy Spears, not the mother, not the little boy, not the little girl, as Airy Spears and Tiffany Haddish, even if y'all didn't come up with this idea, when it was presented to you, for everybody that's watching, or at least I will say, 85 to 90 percent of the people that's watching if someone would came to them and say hey let us use your child we doing the skit about pedophilia oh pedophilia well what's the storyline oh i'm gonna be sitting there uh lusting over your son peeping through a newspaper uh acting like i'm getting aroused by him playing in his drawers Now, Aries, if someone came to you with that proposal for your child, thanks for the donation, MXD Love, right? If someone came to you and presented, hey, yo, we doing this skit. I want to use your son or daughter, and I want her to uh, eat this sandwich and act like she's sucking on a, a penis and moan and groan to it, and she's 14. Like, how do you not 
understand where people are confused as to why you and Tiffany are confused to why everybody is appalled with the actions of this video. Then you got a bathroom tub scene, brother. Where you putting your penis in the boy's face when you got your jeans on? And we look like it making as making it look like he pulled it, pulled your zipper down and did something. And then you get in the bathtub with this young boy who has no clothes on. We're not saying that you're not being extorted. What we're saying to you, brother, is at what point did you realize? before you said action that this was not funny at what point sam dub good looking thanks for the donation at what what point were y'all going to realize Yo, this is we. This is in poor taste. So you telling me between you and Tiffany, and whoever was behind that camera, y'all didn't think that this was in poor taste? Cause that's all we saying, brother. Ain't nobody attack you for nothing outside of this. This ain't even got nothing to do with Lizzo. This may have surfaced because of Lizzo, but this ain't about Lizzo. This is about you and Tiffany doing something that was morally and criminally wrong. So when you have a chance to be able to, you know, have your day where you can say what it really was, then maybe there's some crack in the story somewhere that people might be able to be sympathetic to what you're saying. But come on, brother. Would you let your, your son do that? Nephew? Fahim Leah. <laughs> Yo, good looking. I appreciate it. The Goya black bees in the red can. I see those ones. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try that one. Good looking, though. I appreciate you. Thanks for the donation. Why was he naming all those people in the beginning? He was talking in code. I guess those are the people that, the few people that shouted him out, I guess that's on his side, you know, that's still, you know, still on his side, basically. I believe that. Tiffany did it to get into Hollywood and Aries did it to get back into Hollywood. I do believe that. When they talk about, yo, we going, we taking this to Nickelodeon. Like I still, we, when they say they was taking that to Nickelodeon, let, who is the executive that they were shopping that to? Because when you say you got a Nickelodeon plug, it's a person, it ain't the company. Who was they giving that to? And is that person on the goddamn pedophilia list? Because they probably are. So whoever conceptualized this is who we talking about, Aries. Whoever wrote the script and came up with the lines, that's who we talking about, Aries. For the crew, that's who we talking about, Aries. For the actors, that's who we talking about, Aries. 
None of y'all thought this was a bad idea. None of y'all. 